Good morning, Barons. I'm Derek Candelario. And I'm Devita Martinez. And welcome to BVTV's Halloween special. Uh, Derek, what happened to you? I came dressed as a scientist. A mad scientist? Hey, I'm not crazy, I swear. You believe me, don't you, Mr. Sock? Of course I do. He's not crazy, I swear. Right. Anyway, BVTV is hosting its very own Halloween costume contest on our Instagram at BVHSTV. That's right. I can't wait to see what creative costumes you guys show up in. Hey, Dev, that gives me an idea. Why don't you and I get into the Halloween spirit ourselves and start carving some pumpkins? That sounds fun. Let's go find some pumpkins. Hey, Burns. It's your host, Dev. And Derek. And today we're going to be carving pumpkins, and we want you to vote who carves the better pumpkin. First, we'll start out with cutting out the pumpkins. <laughs> Yeah, what are you carving? I'm gonna carve the Minecraft pumpkin. What about you? I'm gonna be carving a glow pick from Pikmin 4. Okay, Dev, what are done with my pumpkin, but since this is my second time carving a pumpkin, the teeth got knocked out, but I'm an amateur, so. All right, parents, looks like we're done. Dev, you want to show them what you carved? No, not really. <laughs> um, it's really butchered. That's okay. This is how mine came out. Not exactly the best either, but we had fun. Remember, parents, if you want to vote as to who carved the best pumpkin today between me and Dev, go to our Instagram page, at BVHSTV, go to our story post, and vote today. That's all for me, Barons. Now let's go back to the studio. Well, it's good to be back. But, uh, Dev, where'd you go? Oh, very scary, Dev. Whoa! Wait, you? But then if, wait, then, but where did... With you uh, anyway, while Derek is recovering, here's Xavier talking about what the BBTV crew's favorite Halloween movie is. What's up, Barons? I'm Xavier Amaro, and today I'll be asking our BBTV crew what their favorite Halloween movie is. Hi, Xavier. Our favorite Halloween movie is Mean Girls. He doesn't even go here. Mother. Martinez. Yes. What's your favorite Halloween movie? It's a great pumpkin from Charlie Brown. There he is! There he is! It's a great pumpkin! He's rising up out of the pumpkin patch! What happened? Did I faint? What did he leave us? Did he leave us any toys? I was robbed! I spent the whole night waiting for the great pumpkin when I could have been out for tricks or treats! Uh, my favorite Halloween movie is probably Scary Movie 5. Personally, my favorite is Monster House, and my favorite part of the movie is definitely the in-your-face disgrace. Three seconds on the clock. I'm playing basketball. It's time for an in-your-face disgrace. Anyways, let's go on to the next segment, Barons. Hey, Barons, it's Luke, and I'm here to give you an update on this week's weather. Monday will be a low of 51 and a high of 76. Tuesday will be a low of 53 and a high of 79. Wednesday will be a low of 58 and a high of 80. Thursday will be a low of 56 and a high of 76. 
and Friday will be a low of 56 and a high of 74. That's all from me, Barons. I'm Luke, and we're heading back to the studio. Thank you, Luke. You know, I heard today's forecast calls for the whistling man. What? That's not scary. Everyone can whistle. That's him. Well, now that I hear it, that is pretty eerie. Wait, Ryan's still out there. What if the whistling man gets him? <gasps> You're right. Let's go check on him. Hey, Barons, it's Ryan, and I'm here to inform you about the door decorating contest this month. I'll be interviewing an ASB member for the gist of what the contest is about. Let's go. Okay, so who am I here with? Ava. And what is door decorating? So the door decorating contest will take place on October 31st, where you decorate a your classroom door with your second period for Halloween. And what is the deadline for the door? Door should be decorated by October 30th. Is there any prize or anything included when you win the door? Decorating? The class's winning second period will get a donut breakfast. And so how can teachers sign up for the door decorating? Teachers can sign up their second period through the Google form that was sent through an email. All right, thank you, Ava. Mm -hmm. Good luck to all the teachers that are participating. And now, let's go on to the next segment. All right, bands, it's Charlie. And uh, we're gonna be surprising Mr. Romero with a little something on his window right outside his office. It's gonna look something like this. And he has no idea that it's gonna happen, so. it in his window and over there you can see it's going to be big title of the Baron Way. Um, right now we're going to we're gonna cut these last so we can frame them but I'm just labeling them to put them in the color so we're going to put them on the window. Oh, uh, he has no idea about it but we're going we're gonna to see his reaction. So. Who is the Whistling Man? What do you mean, who is the Whistling Man? You brought him up. But it's not like I made him up. Then who is he? That's what I'm asking you. Hello, I'm Paula. I'm James. I'm Maddie. I'm Noah. And we're officers of Samohan, Bonita's Filipino Club. October is Filipino American History Month, and we will share information on important contributions of Filipino Americans in the United States. Um, here are some Filipino Americans we want to highlight. Did you know that the guitarist of Metallica is part Filipino? His name is Kirk Hamlet, and he is an influential and award winner um, rock musician. There are also singers such as Bruno Mars, Oliver Rodrigo, and Steve Lacey, who all have Filipino heritage. If you ever use Snapchat, you can think Bobby Murphy, a Filipino American software engineer. He created it with two of his friends at Stanford University. There are also famous Filipino actors such as Vanessa Hudgens and Dante Bosco, the voice actor Zuko in Avatar The Last Airbender. Filipino Americans were also important to the labor movement. For example, Larry Itliong was a major activist who migrated to the U.S. in 1929 from the Philippines, and in 1965 he started the Delano Grape Strike. Larry and Leon gathered Filipino and Mexican farm workers and created the United Farm Workers Union. This is the union that led that grape strike, and it is very important to history. In many textbooks, Larry and Leon and Filipinos are often left out. Thank you for joining us this October in celebrating Filipino American History Month. Okay, 
So we know the Whistling Man isn't me, and it's definitely not you. And it couldn't be any of our MMRs. Then who could it be? Ah! Who turned out the lights? <laughs> oh, is that the Whistling Man? He found us! Mr. Mr. Martinez? Martinez? Yes, it was always me. It was the you the whole time? time? The whole time, yeah. Didn't I get you guys? Ah. Well, with that mystery solved, I guess that wraps up BVTV's Halloween special. I'm Derek Candelario. And I'm Deb. And I'm Mr. Martinez. And we're... Signing, Signing off. off.